If your HP Smart Tank printer is not printing a certain color, it's printing faded, or you have lines coming up in your prints, then you're going to want to watch the instructions in this video uh, for any HP Smart Tank model to solve this problem. Now, this is a very common issue that happens with virtually every printer across the different uh, types of printers. Uh, but essentially, what you can do is you can go into your printer settings. Uh, you can print off a printer report, print quality report to be specific, and that will show you the colors that are not printing well. Hey, I'm the printer guy and I'm going to show you how to solve this problem on your HP Smart Tank printer. So basically the first thing we want to do is of course print off that print quality report and then we're going to print off another print quality report while it is printing. Uh, we're actually going to unplug the printer. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like any questions at all comment below. If you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe and visit my website bestprinterstech.com. Uh, now we're going to open the top portion of the printer. You want to make sure to have a plastic container to put your print heads in because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be removing the print heads. Uh, that is why we uh, wanted to unlock the print head by printing off a sheet of paper and then unplugging it while it's printing. Once we get access to the print head carriage, we're going to take out the print heads. Now, it may be a little bit different for you, but for me, it is a pressing a blue tab and you can simply release that top portion of the carriage. Uh, now what we're going to be using to do this cleaning is the uh, Best Printers cleaning kit. Uh, this kit is going to be linked down in the description below. Uh, this is the only kit that I endorse and uh, all of the pieces that you will need and you're really only going to need two pieces are going to come with this kit. So it's going to be a yellow piece. Uh, this will connect to one end of your print head and then the other side will connect to the silicone tubing that is usually already connected on the syringe when you receive the kit. Now with this yellow piece that comes with the best printers cleaning kit, you're going to connect the skinny end to the print head. Now you're going to have to determine what color you start off with first. There is a color pattern uh, that is on this print head and it's yellow, magenta, and cyan left to right. And then of course the black is totally separate. Now the print quality report that was printed in the beginning of this process, that's what you're going to use to determine what colors need to be cleaned. If you can identify the specific color, go for that color and clean that color specifically. If you can't identify the color or you're printing blank pages, then simply clean all of the nozzles. Every single one of these colors can be cleaned by pushing through cleaning fluid. You have 100 milliliters in the bottle and so you're going to be able to clean virtually every single color if you need to. Now if you don't need to, you can leave some for later just in case uh, but I usually try to push as much cleaning fluid through at one time uh, when I have this set up so that way I don't have to come back and do it again. Uh, I just like to do it all in one go, make sure I'm totally confident in the cleaning that I did. And this is how you do the cleaning. You're going to make sure that the yellow piece is attached to the print head and then the silicone tubing to the yellow piece. And then you're going to make sure, of course, that you have cleaning fluid in the syringe. Once you have that, uh, then you're going to be able to push this cleaning fluid through. Now I would do it slowly. If you're having any resistance at all, stop the process, warm up the fluid. There's a lot of different methods that you can use to warm up the fluid. There are some videos on this channel you can browse uh, for those methods. Uh, but you, once you have that warmed up fluid, if it's not pushing through initially, you can then push that warmed up fluid through and you should not have any issues. If it is totally backed up and you're still not able to push the fluid through, uh, then you potentially have a print head that is, that is totally backed up and you most likely won't be able to fix it. But that is usually not the case. That is very rare. And so try your best to warm up the fluid and apply it properly. A really good method is to slowly and gently push the fluid through. Be patient with the process. Don't try to rush it. Uh, don't apply too much pressure. Now, once you are totally confident and satisfied with the cleaning, uh, you can then begin the process of drying off the print heads and you need to leave these print heads uninstalled for about 24 hours. It is very important that you do not install the print heads before the 24 hour period. You want to make sure that they're dried off, but then you want to leave them to dry for 24 hours. Now, one thing you can definitely do to prepare for the print heads being reinstalled is to make sure that your ink is totally topped off. I'm going to be leaving a link down in the description below for some HP Smart Tank ink and that ink is what you're going to want to use to refill uh, the ink tanks on your printer because if you have medium or you have low ink in the tanks that could affect whether this 
whole cleaning is going to be successful. So again, link down in the description below for HP Smart Tank ink that is compatible with your printer. These are the ink supply lines. I'm going to show you how to clear air clogs because that could be another issue that you may be having, but I'll show you that at the end of the video. Now what we're going to be doing is reinstalling the print heads. This is after the 24 hour period. At this point, we have totally filled up the ink tanks. They're totally full. And so now what you need to do is you need to go into your settings, whether it's with the HP Smart app on your printer screen directly or with a PC. You just need to get to the settings, go under tools, and then you're gonna select alignment and maintenance, or it might just say maintenance. Under maintenance or tools, you then will have this option of clean print head. You have to use this after you do this cleaning. The purpose of doing a clean print head is not to clean the print head, it's actually to get the ink back into the system. You have now flushed the ink out of the print head and you need to push new ink into the system and this is how you're gonna do it. You may need to do it three, four times, it may work on the first try, but you absolutely have to run a print head cleaning. So finally, you should be printing off another print quality report and it should come out like this. This is exactly how it needs to look. Now, if we compare it to uh, what it looks like when it's not printing well, you can see the difference. Now, it may look different for you and you may just be printing blank pages. And so if that's the case, of course, clean all the colors. But these are the results that you can get if you're having trouble printing uh, with the Best Printers cleaning kit. Now, I'm going to show you how to clear an air clog. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the top of the print head and I'm not using the best tool. You may have something better, but this didn't cause any damage to the ink supply line. So I used a little blade, but the point is to get that ink supply line off, you can get it off. And then you need to attach this L-shaped piece. It's a small piece that comes with the cleaning kit. Uh, and then you wanna connect that to uh, the silicone tubing. Of course, the syringe itself should have no cleaning fluid. It should be totally empty. It should be pressed all the way down uh, because what we're gonna be doing here is actually sucking the ink back into the system. Now this is, if you have air clogs, you can identify this. You can see that black one on the top uh, does not have ink that is flowing through all the way to the print head. Uh, so if you have that on any of your colors, you're gonna to wanna to address it and you're going to want to suction that ink back into the lines uh, and that will also solve the problem this really could be the reason why your print head is having a clog or is dried out or has a uh, blockage is because air builds up in the system especially with these tank printers and what will end up happening is ink will not be able to flow as well uh, through there and that will cause an issue for you but so what you're gonna do here with this kit uh, it's a multi-use kit as you can see here you have a lot of value with this kit, uh, you can actually suction the ink back into the system. Once you're done doing that, you can remove the L-shaped piece and connect the ink supply line back to the print head. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I handpicked two videos that are here on the screen for you to watch next. Also consider subscribing to this channel. There's so much helpful content for you if you're a printer owner, and it's just good to have a resource like this for you in the future, whether you're dealing with a printer that's not printing well or you need more printer recommendations. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video.